Hi. Uh, in this session, you will learn about the navigation within Fusion applications. This is how the login page looks. You click on sign in. Once you sign in, you will see the home page. The home page has a couple of important components which you will have to understand. You can see here there are these large icons. You can navigate to a particular transaction screen clicking on one of these, like for example, say if you want to navigate to the journals page, you can do this way, or also you can use this navigator, which is called hamburger navigator. Even here you can see the same options. Say I want to navigate to the general accounting area, which is for the GL transactions. And you can click on journals here. So this will take you to the, the journals work area. A couple of things uh, you have to notice here. One important thing is the, the data access set. You know, any transaction which you enter it has to be associated with the ledger. So currently you can see here one ledger is being assigned. If you want, you can change. You can click on this change and pick the appropriate ledger. Okay. Instead of that, if you say if you want to work on some UK ledger, you can do that. Okay. But time being, I'll just continue with this. And also you can see here this area, I know uh, it will show you a summary of um, what's pending, requiring attention and requiring approval, that kind of things. And also there's something called process monitor, which will show you what programs have been running and what's the status. But our um, intention here is to go say, uh, look at a journal, right? So this is another uh, important thing, task pane. You have to click on this task. It will show you all the various tasks available for your to this user. Okay, so again, there are many areas here, uh, but right now you will focus on the journals area and say you want to enter and uh, journal or say I want to review a journal. Okay, so I can click on this manage journals. It will show you. Uh, various journals you can actually enter a uh, research criteria and click on search it will bring you all those say I want to uh, search for only those entered in say April 19 okay, click on search okay, so Nineteen. Click on search. It will show all the journals for that period. Okay. So now I can click on a particular uh, journal, and you can review or do something. Okay. Say a journal has main three main areas in the journal batch, a journal header, and the lines. You can see there are two lines here, one credit and one debit, and other details, you know, for which period, for which currency, and um, which ledger, all the details are there. So, but here now, since you are just trying to understand the navigation, uh, so you, you have to understand how did you come to this place. Okay, you can cancel this. Again, it will go back to uh, the channels for Kiria and uh, you can come back to um, the original thing. I say, hey, you click on this home, it'll take you back to the home page where you get all the options. Say, now I want to navigate to payables, I want to in enter invoice, you can do this. Okay, click on payables, click on invoices. So, this is um, 
a typical navigation for entering transactions but how do you do configurations okay. so configurations uh, for configurations we have something called uh, setup and maintenance you can see here this option so you basically have to click on this user and uh, the settings and action menu has the setup and maintenance and even this hamburger menu this also will have the setup and maintenance uh, you can navigate um, here you can see here click on this and it will take you to an um, page which is called functional setup manager uh, which will allow you to actually um, configure a fusion application okay right now you just um, try to understand the navigation we are not going to do any configuration okay other thing is uh, navigation is say I want to uh, run a report okay say how do you do that say so click on more go to the tools thing and you have something called here um, scheduled processes okay click on this you can submit a new uh, process say I want to run in uh, uh, trial balance report okay so you can um, search for the report click on search say I'll enter trial balance uh, in this trial okay. and enter can see here there is uh, this report you can just click on ok and then it will ask you to enter some parameters and you submit and then you can see the report see this is you can see here it's uh, brought in some defaults and just say submit so now this process is submitted you can actually see the status of that and it will take some time see this trial balance report. the status is ready now it will change to running and then finally once it completes it will, the status will change to completed so you can see the output of that uh, report click on this uh, report and you can see here if you just scroll down you will see the output here Okay, so you can click on this default document you can see here this is a PDF document which it has created and uh, the output is here okay you can download that output and then um, uh, you can do a lot of other things okay. so what the navigation is this uh, similarly say I want to um, create a user okay there is an option called uh, security console uh, so you just come down and in the tools menu we have the security console okay so uh, you can create a user or say reports and analytics is uh, area where you can create a report okay so uh, these are the various um, uh, main navigation which everyone has to understand so to uh, name See, one is transaction entry entry navigation entry entry page right you want to navigate to journal says all that and next next one is the config okay how do you config that is um, FSM we call it FSM or the setup and maintenance okay uh, and the third one is you know is submit a job how do you submit a job that schedule processes okay submit a job okay. then the fourth one is you know admin pages right say I want to create a user okay so uh, security console how do you navigate to the security console so if you um, other important one is the reports okay reports and analytics I say I want to create a report there is a navigation like here you see here under tools reports and analytics 
So if you want, try to understand these for initially, this is more than enough. There are many other things. Say if you want to upload a file, you have to say file-based data integration, you have to go for this file import and export. And um, again, on home page, you know, you have uh, something called um, you uh, infolets. Okay, if you click on this, it will take you to a page wherein it gives you access, access to the infolets. Okay, so it gives you a summarized uh, uh, data view. Okay, and yeah, I think that's. Um, that's all I think you need to know uh, when you start working on Fusion application. Hope, hope this uh, lesson helped you to understand the navigation in Fusion application. Thank you.